Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about analyst agent. Analyst agent is a data scientist in your pocket. We are going to use a real world use case scenario to actually go through some examples about how you can use it. What are the different types of report you can get from analyst agent? How is it different to a researcher agent and things like that? And I'm going to use this particular data set, which include a lots of data. But how can you make sense of this data using analyst agent? I hope you are going to enjoy this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. For this lab, we are going to use this data set. And this data set include a region, a particular plan type of that energy company, tenure or the months a particular customer has been with them, monthly usage of electricity from that particular company. And most importantly, they have these churn status. This particularly showcases are they still active with that company or they discontinued the service. And the last column indicate how many number of times this particular customer had any sort of customer service interaction with that customer. Because I'm not a data scientist, I will not be able to use this particular data set to understand the meaning behind it. I understand that these are some of the metrics about their churn data, but I don't. I cannot put my head together to find out why is this happening. If you are a data scientist, you have your own unique methods to find that information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the analyst agent to do that for me. So I just logged into my Copilot chat. So you can do that by going into m365.cloud.microsoft.com. That takes you to this chat window. On the left hand side, underneath the chat, there is an option called agents. So click on that agents. This allows you to use these researcher, analyst, or these types of agent. Um, I have done a previous video on what is this researcher. As the name suggests, researcher is a type of agent which you use to do deep, meaningful research. When researcher gets to work, it actually look into the content within your organization, which is part of your Microsoft graph and outside of your organization. It could be anywhere from internet as well, depending on your prompt. What we are going to use today is the analyst agent. If you do happen to want to check the video on researcher, you can find that in the blog or the YouTube channel. Please have a look into that. The analyst agent, what we are going to look into today is the data scientist, which I talked about. You have your own data scientist in your pocket. So click on the analyst agent that take you to directly accessing the agent. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the previous interaction you had with that agent. You can always access that from the history. Right at the top, there is a prompt window. This is where you are going to put in your prompt and additional information, what you want to ground that with. And you have some suggestive prompt right below that as well. So if you want, you can use that. What I'm going to quickly show you is if you click on this plus symbol, you have these options. Add a work content or upload an image or a file. Do you want to reason over that? Or if you have the source file in your OneDrive, you can attach that as well. So I'm going to click on attach cloud files that shows my OneDrive files, which I can actually use to pick any source file from here. So if I go to my files and search for energy, all right, so I'm going to use this particular file, energy customer churn trends. So select that. Click on select. When you do that, you can see this thumbnail right at the top of the prompt window. So this indicates that this particular file has been already added. So now anything what you type here, it is going to use this particular context or the file what you use for additional grounding or the source material. So I'm going to ask some series of questions to showcase the power of this analyst agent and how you can interact with it. So the first question I'm going to ask is, can you give me the summary of the data sheet? Even though I can quickly see what the data sheet it is, but if I don't know how to interpret this data, I can basically upload that into analyst agent and it gets to work. What you're seeing over here is the reasoning engine getting into work. Just like the researcher agent, analyst agent also uses the reasoning engine, but this is slightly different to the researcher agent. And you can click on any of these to understand what is happening in the backend. When I click on one of these steps, you can see that analyst agent is actually creating this Python code to understand the data behind it. 
So you don't have to understand how to write this Python code. Analyst agent does this work for you. And these are the series of steps which is taking to understand the reason behind the data. This step can take up to one to two minutes depending upon the complexity of the data or the type of prompt what you put in. So I'm going to pause the video. We will come back once we have the result. All right. So I didn't have to wait long. So looks like it understood what the data is. The question I asked is, give me a summary of the data sheet. Based on that, it tells me, hey, this data sheet have total of this much uh, record for customers. These are the columns which has these sort of a data and some key insights. These insights include highest churn rate is south lowest churn rate is not. I didn't specifically ask to tell me the details about the churn rate, but it kind of figured out the pattern within the data set. This is what I talked about the analyst agent getting into work as a data scientist to give you that meaningful, rich data. And the reason for this churn, like highest churn is because of the variable plan and the lowest churn is because the customers were using the green energy. So if I go back to the Excel sheet, now I can correlate. So based on the churn rate, I can see that there is some variable plan and the green energy. So people who were using the green energy are still active with the energy provider. So there is something to look into. So that is how you can ask this question. So you don't have to stop there. I can go ahead and ask another question like this time I'm going to ask, hey, can you create a chart showing the churn rate by region? It doesn't have to be a textual based reasoning response all the time. Again, analyst agent will get to work. Now you can see that the execution behind the reasoning steps. So we call these steps as chain of thought reasoning because based on your prompt, it gets to work and try to get the data for you. All right, so we asked to create a chart and looks like our chart is ready. So once you have the chart, you are feel free to download this or copy this and you can use it in your PowerPoint pack or the document what you're trying to create or things like that. Or imagine you are in a meeting, somebody asks you this particular question. Rather than you breaking your head, you just put that Excel sheet and the prompt in an analyst agent and you get that result immediately. Another uh, cool trick I want to show you is the first two prompt I used is to understand the data and the reason behind the churn rate and creating a um, sheet. The next question what I'm going to ask is, here I'm asking, hey, based on the data, what recommendation would you make to reduce churn? So this does require some sort of a deep analysis, thinking about why is this happening? What is the pattern? If I can understand the pattern, what are the recommended steps which I can propose and things like that? This actually does take a lot of time if you are a human trying to do this. But what I'm trying to recommend here is you can use your own thinking, but at the same time, use the analyst agent to do that work for you and look into these recommendation. Is it making sense or not? So let's wait to see what sort of a recommendation analyst agent is doing to reduce the churn. All right, so we have our recommendation ready. So based on the pattern, it says that some of the key indicators are short tenure. So any customer who is not with that particular energy company for less than 12 months are moving away from them. Second is high usage. So anybody is using more than 529 kilowatt is also reducing. So these are some of the key indicators, some of the recommended steps. It is giving some suggestion on focus on early engagement. So introduce some onboarding programs like welcome emails or calls, things like that. You don't have to necessarily implement it or use it, but these are some good suggestions to think and brainstorm and start to uh, get to work. So that's a quick video on showcasing the capability of analyst agent on a real life scenario. See if you can upload an Excel sheet which you work in your day-to-day -day use case and ask some intelligent questions. I will see you in the next one. Take care.